All right, today we're going to be talking about Rage Against the Machine. Um, so this is their first album from 1992. Um, it's like, um, well, I think I chose it because it's like pretty much the best album. It's like why I choose most of these albums. It's like pretty much the artist's like most well-known or like most influential album. Um, and that definitely makes sense. I mean, Killing in the Name is pretty much, is like a very, um, it represents the band perfectly. It's like everything the band is, is in Killing in the Name, I would say. Like, I don't know the band that well, but from what I've heard. Anyway, um, I think they really definitely nailed it with Killing in the Name. I'm um, just, they've really, it's just, it was a perfect song for them, I think. Um, um, so yeah, anyway, that was, I knew that one. Um, uh, and then other than that, like I kind of knew Bomb Track before um, coming into this. So yeah, um, anyway, I listened through. Um, the ones that stood out to me, um, were bomb track, um, bullet in the head, uh, know your enemy, um, killing in the name of course, um, but yeah, specifically specifically bomb track, um, really cool, like the, you know the blend of rap. Um, I think the rap is really good on that one, and as well it's got a really cool riff, um, and they just work together so nicely. It's like really nice to listen to that one. Um, so yeah, this is definitely quite like a heavy album. It's very like grungy as well because I mean I know a lot of people who like grunge music enjoy Rage Against the Machine and this is 1992 so it's kind of like at the peak of grunge um, as well. Although I wouldn't describe this as grunge at all. Um, although it does have like a lot of the elements in it. It does have like um, probably a more of a metal guitar tone, um, but a similar kind of like um, you know like harmonically similar to grunge I guess um, in the way that like certain chords are used. Um, uh, so yeah, um, let's just have a little look. I can't remember all these songs off the, off the top of my head, like Township Rebellion. I could probably, I probably know if I listen to it, um, but I can't really sing it in my head. Um, but yeah, that's mainly because I only had a week to react to it. So yeah, best song on here for sure for me would be would be Bomb Track. Um, really, really enjoyed listening to Bomb Track. Um, it's just so good. I mean, the riffs are just so good, so satisfying. Um, and really kind of, the rap's so catchy to sing along with a really good rhythm. Um, least favourite part, I think there were actually, there were some parts I didn't like of this album. Um, and there were some times where the vocalist, I'm not, I can't quite remember his name, I think it's like, uh, I can't remember his name. Um, but he, like, his some of his screams I'm not a fan of, like, some of, like, the vocal, like, screams, like, the super, like, loud ones, I'm not a big fan of. Like, it's not that I don't like screaming in music, it's just his scream, like, specifically. Um something about it I just don't quite like it's like I, I just I think it's the kind of thing that would have to grow on you and it just didn't grow on me um so yeah it's it kind of just sounds like um yeah I, not my kind of scream but the, the, you know there are screams that can be done well in my opinion so yeah that's kind of really like all I gotta say about this one um like this isn't really an album review it's more of like an album reaction um Cause I can't really, I'm not really in a position to review an album. Uh, I'm not a critic or anything. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the album anyway. So that is Rage Against the Machine. Um, overall enjoyment, um, I'd say, I'd say a good eight and a half out of 10. I really enjoyed this one actually. Um, so there we go. That's my thoughts.